This next gentleman coming to the stage, it is his first time. He's the first timer that's coming up. And, uh, and his name, his name might tell you a little bit about him. Uh, and it's, it's a famous name. You've, you've heard it before from a big company or, uh, in this area. Welcome to the stage, Dick Badcock, ladies and gentlemen. Dick Badcock. Hello, Fort Myers. So nice to be here. Hey, uh, let's give a let's give a round of applause for Les, huh? Awesome guy. For a for a man born without visible genitalia, Les, you have come a long way. Man's an inspiration. It's an inspiration. Well, uh, I have some good news. Uh, I recently lost 163 pounds of lard that was making my life a living hell. Thank you. Thank you. His name was Tyrell. <laughs> when I was younger, I had hoped to make a living out of what I did best, but there didn't really seem to be a market for alcoholic pot-smoking masturbators. <laughs> so I kind of had to fall back on my busboy skills. That was disappointing. <laughs> Um, you know, before Les turned me into a professional comedian, I was a porn fluffer. <laughs> if everybody here is familiar with uh, porn fluffers. But um, I was a porn fluffer for geriatric midget clown bondage films. <laughs> it's hot stuff, I know. I'm getting a little excited just thinking about it right now. Um, you know, I would have done that job forever, but the whole genre just sort of petered out. I guess it, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't really catch on. Um, but let's be serious for one second here, just for one second. I would like you folks to please just take a second, put yourself in the shoes of a homeless person for one second, okay? You're standing there on the sidewalk and you're asking yourself, where am I going to masturbate? <laughs> Makes it real, doesn't it? Makes it real. Makes it real all of a sudden. You know, I don't seem to fit in anywhere. I don't know what it is. Um, Sarasota kicked me out. They said I wasn't uh, gay, European, or rich enough. And um, I tried old Braid and Tucky, and they kicked me out because I can spell, I have all my teeth, and I don't drive a shitty old pickup truck with a Confederate flag truck on the back. You know, so I go up to Gibsonton, and I'm like, you know, can we do this? And they're like, bro. We let circus freaks live in this town, but we gotta draw the line somewhere. So, thinking I might try Arcadia next, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I guess part of the problem is that I've got weird hobbies. You know, I'm into boxing and cross-dressing. <laughs> I like to do them simultaneously, and I don't see why that's gotta be such a big deal for so many people, you know? Who are you to judge, huh? Who are you to judge? Um, I've been having some health problems recently as well. Uh, I went to see my doctor for what I would, um, I guess I'd, I'd call it anal leakage. And um, she said to me, she said, you're going to have to stop masturbating. And I said, what? Why? And she said, because I am trying to examine you right now. I'm like, you know, it's just, it's not cool. Um, all right, this one's kind of risky, but so what do Donald Trump's god-awful hairpiece and a thong have in common? They both barely cover an asshole. And they both smell terrible, but I'm only guessing on the second part. Um, I'm sort of a mean guy. Uh, I thought it would be funny to hand out little plastic cups full of vodka at the marathon. <laughs> the next thing you know, I've got the most popular water station in the whole race. I mean, it's an alcoholic country. Um, and I've been having trouble getting a job recently. I, I don't know if it's my resume or what. Is it a bad idea to list under your hobbies that um, I have a black belt in cunnilingus? Is that, is that TMI? Should I clean that up a little bit? I don't know. Sorry. I'm, um... Woo! 
Um, did you know that simply squeezing a breast can stop cancer cells? It's actually true. The uh, University of California, Berkeley did a study a few years ago and they found that mechanical forces can stop the growth of cancer cells. So to protect titties, we have to squeeze them. This is great news. And they invented a machine that does that. Its name is Dick Badcock. Yeah. I'm here to help. I just want to give back. I want, it's my way of giving back. Not you, sir. Please, stop waving at me. Um, okay, so a narcissist, a serial liar, a molester, a racist, a bully, a money launderer, a fascist, a con artist, and a silver spoon trust fund geriatric brat walk into a bar. Bartender says, what will it be, Mr. President? Sorry, uh, just a couple of, of final ones here. Um, how do you get a hipster to eat a hot dog? You put it in a man bun. Uh, ooh, I know. Stop picking on hipsters. Wouldn't it be funny if a fire extinguisher factory burned to the ground? Or at least embarrassing, you know? Um, and, and just on a serious note, I, I remember the very last thing my mother said. What are you doing with that hammer? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I enjoyed it. Dick Bangkok.